Okay, good morning students. Today we are going to discuss about wave velocity, group velocity and relation between wave velocity and group velocity. First, wave velocity. Wave velocity is also known as phase velocity. What is wave velocity or phase velocity? Discuss the definition of wave velocity. Consider a monochromatic wave. Consider a monochromatic wave. Monochromatic means a wave which has single frequency and wavelength is a monochromatic wave. This wave travels through the medium. Its velocity of advancement in the medium is known as wave velocity. Wave velocity is defined as a monochromatic wave travels through the medium. Its velocity in the medium is known as wave velocity. And wave velocity is represented by the letter V suffix P. Here, V is the velocity, suffix P. P means phase. V suffix P is equal to omega by K. Phase velocity is also defined in terms of angular frequency and propagation constant. Here, omega is the angular frequency, K is the propagation constant. So, phase velocity is defined as the ratio of angular frequency to the propagation constant. Okay, now consider a wave whose displacement is given by y is equal to a sin omega t minus kx. Here, a is the amplitude omega is the angular frequency, k is the propagation constant. Angular frequency omega is equal to 2 pi n and propagation constant k is equal to 2 pi by k, 2 pi by lambda. So, y is equal to a sin omega t minus kx is the general wave equation, it is equation number 1. If in this equation, omega t minus kx is the phase of the wave. If the phase is constant, for the planes of constant phase, the velocity is known as, for the planes of constant phase, advances through the medium. Its velocity is known as phase velocity. So here in this equation, omega t minus kx is the phase. Suppose if it is constant, omega t minus kx is equal to constant. Give equation number 2. Differentiating this equation with respect to t, then omega into dt by dt minus k into dx by dt. Differentiation of constant is? 0. Differentiation of constant is 0. From this, dx by dt is equal to omega by k. In this equation, dx by dt means the rate of change of displacement. Rate of change of displacement is nothing but velocity. Here, the phase is constant, planes of constant phase advances through the medium. So, its velocity is phase velocity. This is represented by V suffix P. Here, suffix P is phase. Phase velocity is equal to omega by k. And another definition, group velocity. Group velocity. Group velocity Consider pulses rather than a monochromatic wave. 
A pulse consists of two or more than two waves having slightly different frequencies. Group velocity is represented by V suffix G is equal to d omega by dk. Consider uh, now derive an expression for the group velocity. Suppose there are two waves. One y one is equal to a sine omega t minus k x, and another wave y two is equal to a sine omega dash t minus k dash x. Here in these two equations, in the first equation, a is the amplitude. In second equation, a is also amplitude. Amplitude is same in two equations, but omega is slightly different. Omega, omega dash, k is propagation constant also slightly different. When these two waves combine, the superposition of two waves are the resultant wave y is equal to y1 plus y2. Here y1 is a a sine omega t minus k x plus Y2 is a sine omega dash t minus k dash x. Combine these two equations, first term and the second term. In these two terms, a is constant, right? Sine omega t minus k x plus sine omega t omega dash t minus k dash x. You know the equation in trigonometry: sine a plus sine b is equal to two sine a plus b by two into cos a minus b by two. Right from this equation, two into a sine a plus b by two sine a plus b omega t minus k x plus omega dash t minus k dash x. Omega plus omega dash by two into t. My here sine a plus b by two omega plus omega dash by two plus next to minus k x minus k dash x k plus k dash by two into x. And then cos term, cos omega minus omega dash by two into t minus k minus k dash by two into x. Now substitute omega plus omega dash by two is omega. And k plus in the place of k plus k dash by two is k, then the equation becomes two a sine omega t minus k x out of them. Ekada omega minus omega dash d omega k minus k dash d k. Then right first cos term cos d omega by two. Into t minus d k by two into x. Then cos term. After that, sine sine omega t minus k x. This is equation three. Now the resultant wave. Compare this resultant wave with general wave. With the general wave, a is amplitude. Here, this, if you want to go to amplitude, it's a man of two. Then sine omega t minus k x sine omega t minus k x. Compare these two equations. This, this is general wave equation and the resultant wave equation. By comparing the general wave equation with the resultant wave equation, the resultant amplitude is given by resultant amplitude.
resultant amplitude is given by 2a resultant amplitude is given by 2a cos d omega by 2 into t minus dk by 2 into x this is the resultant amplitude now write 2a cos d omega by 2 right then you come on this day d omega by 2 you come on this day after common d omega by 2 from these two terms d omega by 2 here t minus in this term there is no d omega so that in order to uh, make d omega as common we multiply and divide it with d omega then dk by dk by d omega into x 2a cos d omega by 2 into t minus x by v sub x g here v sub x g is d omega by dk this is the expression for groups group velocity group velocity means here consider pulses rather than monochromatic wave the group which has maximum amplitude in the group of waves which has maximum amplitude advances through the medium its velocity is known as group velocity in other words group velocity is with velocity with which the energy in the group is transmitted group velocity is the velocity with which the energy in the group is transmitted so here two we are considering two waves and the resultant wave is this one the from com by comparing this resultant wave equation with general wave equation the resultant amplitude is this much then we got the expression for group velocity now let us discuss the relation between relation between phase velocity and group velocity relation between phase velocity and group velocity you know phase velocity is equal to omega by k from this omega is equal to phase velocity into k now differentiating on both sides then d omega is equal to here these two variables by using uv formula right d vp into k plus vp into dk then d omega by dk is equal to d omega by dk is equal to k into tvp by dk plus vp into dk by dk here dk by dk is equal to 1 now d omega by dk is nothing but group velocity so write d omega by dk is equal to v sub x phase velocity plus k into dvp by dk d omega by dk is equal to is group velocity right so here write v sub x g is equal to v sub x p plus k into dvp by dk you know k is propagation constant k is equal to 2 pi by lambda 2 pi by lambda now lambda is equal to 
lambda is equal to 2 pi by k. d lambda by dk is equal to minus 2 pi by k square. Okay, k is the propagation constant. k is equal to 2 pi by lambda. From this, lambda is equal to 2 pi by k. Differentiating lambda with respect to k, d lambda by dk is equal to minus 2 pi by k square. Now, v is a fixed group velocity is equal to phase velocity plus k into k into dvp by instead of dk, right, d lambda. So, d lambda is divided here multiply with d lambda and then write dk. d lambda by dk is, is equal to minus 2 pi by k square. So, substitute d, d lambda by dk value in this equation. v sub x g is equal to v sub x p plus k into d v p by d lambda into minus 2 pi by k square. Here k and k, 1k is cancelled. Now v sub x p plus into minus, here minus, so plus into minus minus d v p by d lambda into 2 pi by k. 2 pi by k means is nothing but lambda. So minus lambda d v p by d lambda dvp by d lambda. From this, we can conclude the relation between group velocity v sub x g is equal to v sub x p minus lambda into dvp by d lambda. So, this is an expression for group velocity and also the relation between group velocity and phase velocity. Okay. Okay. From this, let us conclude in the, uh, this class. First, we learned about uh, phase velocity and its expression, group velocity and its uh, derivation, d omega by dk. And finally, we related both group velocity and phase velocity. What is the expression for the Group velocity and phase velocity. Group velocity v sub x g is equal to v sub x p minus lambda into d v p by d lambda. This is the relation established from established between group velocity and phase velocity. Okay, thanks to thanks to everyone.